Welcome, my name is Dimitri from Kanban Zone, and today I'm going to show you what is a portfolio Kanban system. In today's session, we're going to use a three flight level system, strategy, discovery, and delivery. The way to illustrate it is we're going to have a purple and a green concept that are going to flow across these three flight levels. Typically, at the strategic level, you will have initiatives or programs that then get broken down at the discovery level into features or projects, and then again broken down at the delivery level into stories enhancements. The reason we don't really care what you call these work items is the platform is extremely flexible to design it exactly the way you need it for your business using your terminology. So let's get started and see this in action. So here we are inside Kanban Zone, and the same two green and purple concepts are here with the three flight levels of strategy, discovery, and delivery. And as you can see, each of these flight levels have their own process, their own columns to flow the cards through. For the purpose of this demo, to keep everything simple, we kept all three flight levels in one big board. Typically, you would have a strategic board, one or more discovery board, and definitely multiple delivery boards. But for the purpose of today, we're just gonna keep everything here to also illustrate how powerful our board designer is to put everything in one. Also, we're gonna get rid of the purple cards. We're gonna just focus on the green ones, and we're gonna zoom out to show you the whole picture. So now, what you wanna keep an eye on is these blue bars. These are the linked cards. So this one is linked to this one, and then this one is linked to the three below. The blue lines are blue because they are in a to-do blue state. As you move cards to yellow columns for in progress, orange columns for buffer or waiting, and green columns for done, you will see these lines change. So let's do a top-down followed by a bottom-up in terms of flowing this work across the organization. The executives are probably going to approve this initiative. This sends a signal right here, right, to show that it's been approved, it's in an in-progress column, therefore the discovery team knows that they can start moving on their work. They're going to move into design. Now be careful, you saw how all the lines change very quickly, and now it sends a signal now above and below that something is happening with this discovery card. Once it gets into the approval process, right, it moves into a waiting mode where everyone is informed now that the card is in orange waiting for someone to do something. Let's say it gets approved, it is now back into an in progress. At this point, you're gonna see that the delivery team has green light to start doing their work. So they're gonna start moving the card into develop and into other states, and as you can see, the colors change to give you an immediate sense of what's going on with all these connected pieces of work. As we move the cards through the boards, right, we're going to see that the cards are going to end up going into the done column. This is your time to celebrate, so confettis and all, and as the cards can continue to get completed, the executives are probably now tracking all this work, and we are continuing to deliver it at the bottom here in the delivery cycle. And once they're all delivered, it sends a clear signal to the discovery team that it's time for them to pick up this feature card and move it into validate to make sure that they're happy with all the work that has been completed by the delivery team. Once they're happy, they move it to done, celebrate a little bit, and now it sends a signal back up to the executives to say, you know what, it's time to start measuring the success of this initiative. Now be careful, we sure hope that the success metrics were well defined in the first column because now it's time to look at them and actually make sure that we are measuring the success of this initiative. Once they are very happy, they move it to done and full celebration as the entire green concept has been successfully delivered with green lines everywhere. So now let's move into showing you how all this works big picture. So now that you understand the concept and you've seen it in action, let's look at the full picture. In this visual, we're showing you that on the left side, you start with goals that get represented as initiatives on your strategy board. Once you have these, you then break them in your discovery board into features or projects that are completely aligned with talking to your customers and making sure that this is what they're looking for. Once the discovery team is done, they will then meet with the delivery team to do a handoff in the form of a story writing session, 
where the discovery team is going to collaborate with the members of the delivery team to say, hey, this is what we discovered. How would you like to break it up into deliverable work items? This is where your green and purple cards are going to show up in your backlog and they're going to mingle with these now gray cards. Now, what are these gray cards? Well, your teams at the delivery level are allowed to create cards that have zero connection back to strategy because they're smart about maintaining your systems or they're helpful in terms of small things that they believe need to get done. And they're allowed to work on them as long as they don't impact negatively the delivery of the purple and green initiatives. As the team pulls work from the backlog, they will do a grooming or replenishment session to make sure that the cards are ready to flow on their respective delivery boards. And this is where you will st start seeing more and more of these loops of these gray cards that the team discovers as they do their work. So conceptually, this is what a portfolio Kanban system looks like. Same three flight levels and how those green and purple concepts flow across your organization so that everyone knows how to track back all the work that is happening in the organization. So we are back with now looking at the original three flight levels of a portfolio Kanban system. And you now know how these flight levels work with each other. And the key here is to understand that all the work you do answers the three main voices in your organization. At the strategic level, the voice of why, why are we doing this work? At the discovery level, what is the work? And at the delivery level, how to actually produce this work. So I sure hope you enjoyed this short presentation about a portfolio Kanban system. We would love to help you design your own and help you flow your work efficiently across your organization. Welcome to the Kanban Zone and we sure hope to talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.